the Pittsburgh Steelers will bounce back from that loss against the Buffalo Bills and they will beat the New York Football Jets 21 to 10. It's going to be a low scoring affair, but in the end, the Steelers will do enough to come out victorious. Doug Hodges will bounce back from that tough game he had against the Bills. I believe he threw four interceptions. That's not going to happen against the Jets. In fact, I don't see him turning the ball over, not even once. He is looking to redeem himself, and he will. He's going to throw for 250 yards, and he's going to have a touchdown. So he will throw for a touchdown pass. He will have a great game against the Jets' defense, which we know is very tough because Greg Williams is a defensive mastermind, and his defense is always tough. It's always physical. They hit hard. They are just difficult to have to deal with. But the Steelers will figure out a way to score enough points on offense and they will figure out that defense and they will beat them. They will dismantle that defense of Greg Williams and they're going to have a great game offensively. James Conner, I believe, is playing and he will have a 100-yard rushing day. That Steelers offense led by Mike Pouncey, they will create great running lanes for Conner. So expecting to have a 100-yard rushing day. Now, Juju Smith-Schuster is reportedly a game-time decision. So if he plays, that will give the Steelers offense a big boost. And of course, they could use that boost. Now, if he doesn't play, then James Washington and Vance McDonald and Nick Vanette and all these other playmakers are going to have to step up the level of play. And I believe they will. They know what's at stake. The Steelers are playoff hungry. They want to advance to the postseason. So they know that they must beat the Jets, and they will. I'm not worried about the Steelers' defense. They're going to dominate the Jets. They're going to tackle Le'Veon Bell, whoever's playing running back on Sunday. They're going to hit him. They're going to hit that running back hard. Devin Bush, TJ Watt, Dupree. Hayward, Barron, they're going to come. They're going to come for that Jets offense. Sam Darnold will be seeing ghosts against the Steelers defense because the Steelers defense is good at creating turnovers. They're great at sacking the quarterback. So Sam Darnold is going to be in for a long, hard day. The Jets offense will be grounded. They may score a touchdown, but that's about it. I don't see him doing much else in terms of the offense. They might get a field goal too, but like I said, they're not going to go wild offensively. The Steelers will neutralize the Jets' offense. Like I said, they're going to win this game 21-10. to The Steelers are going to control the clock. As we know, that's the formula for winning for the Steelers. They've got to run the ball, and they've got to control the clock, and then when the Jets defense overcommits to the running game by putting multiple defenders in the box. Doug Hodges has to capitalize on that, which he will, and throw over the top of that defense for big plays. So Washington will have a great game. McDonald will have a great game. Whoever's playing at the wide receiver in tight end positions will have a great receiving day against the Jets because they're going to be one on one, and the Steelers receivers will find a way to win these one on one matchups. So at the end of this game, the Steelers will be 9-6, and six, and they're going to make it to the playoffs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you definitely should subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.